I think people are looking for a place that gives them that like cozy, homemade feel and that we care about them. In a drive through lineup, you're nobody. You're just the next customer given the money and nobody cares. They don't care if your order's right. They don't care what you order and they just care that you give them their money. And that's not what we're about here. We know our customers. We have, you know, we know their personal lives. We chat with them every day. We, you know, we know what they like. We make it before they come in the door, you know, and I think people appreciate that now more than ever. It's they not do. just being a number. Hey, there's the fact that you can see right through your counter into the kitchen. It reminds me a lot of my grandmother's kitchen. There's a few things we like as the two cowboys. There's specific things I like as one of the cowboys. Our fresh coffee is one of them. Home baking is another. But you know, in the end, the thing that really makes it awesome is our people. Come with me, let's go and meet them. So, uh, coffee shop, how did that start for you? Uh, kind of by accident. I'm a cake decorator by trade. I used to do it from home when my kids were little, stayed home mom for eight years. And then it was time to find a job and my friend Carrie Ann, we were, we've been friends a long time, and she said, I have a friend selling a coffee shop, maybe that would work for you. Voila, I own a coffee shop. The rest is yeah. history as they say. Very impulsive decision. <laughs> the people that work for you or with you, some you know, small businesses you almost have to have enlisted friends to work with you. Yeah, um, or customers. Or customers, yeah. so tell me a bit about those. Are, are those ex-customers or uh, some still of them his are. customers, probably not ex? Um, so one of my employees came with the place when I bought it. So she was with, she's been with Home Ground the whole time and still with me, she's here today. My baker this morning was a customer up until June and she came in one day complaining about her soul-sucking job and how she needed to change. And I said, well, I'm hiring. And she called me a few weeks later and she's like, were you serious? And I said, deadly serious. So she started working here. My background's in marketing and public relations and, and it seems like that whole career path sort of led me to this place. The angels sang and I <laughs> felt like this is what I was meant to do. Heather and I have been friends for a long time and actually it, she's, she kind of put me on this path where I was having a bit of a midlife crisis and she said, come work for me. We, we're just a really good um, synergy, like having me roast in the cafe I think helps her business and me having her as a distribution method. I love thinking about the fact that my coffee sometimes does get people out of bed in the morning. The amount of feedback I've had from people. It was like, you make my morning, or doctors who can't get through their day without it. And someone actually recently posted that they took it on holidays with them. They showed me a picture of their bag of coffee in Mexico, because that you know it, it becomes such an important part of people's lives, and I love that part of it. It's kind of an intimate relationship. So, Lenny, help me out, what are we making? We are making cinnamon buns. And I get it that you guys are famous for your cinnamon buns? They're unlike any other cinnamon bun you get anywhere in town. They're not yeast-based, so we can make them fresh throughout the day. And yeah, they're just delicious. And we always say we bake with love, not calories. To ask about the name, are you a bit of a rebel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's funny. So every batch that my roaster, who I've named Toby, roasts, there is one bean that doesn't roast. The defiance and independence, and I do feel like I have a bit of that personality, and, and it, we've taken it on as a brand for the company and, and for the customers as well. These are the people who aren't going to go in the drive through They're going to stand out and choose freshness and choose supporting local, and that's what makes them a rebel. We're all about supporting communities, businesses, inspiring people. We really appreciate your support. Come and join our movement. Give us a thumbs up. We would love to bring you more of these.